Hello, my name is Marcus Stork from Stork Bicycle, and I would like to show you today our Stork Aero 2. Uh, I have to tell you a quick story. Uh, this year we signed an agreement with Faris El Sultan, the 2005 Ironman winner in Hawaii, and um, I promised him for 2010 to make a new bike for him. And um, uh, so we uh, talked about the design, about the features and what he would like to have. So we started with that project then in May and I said, okay, let's try to work out to produce the Aero within four months. So actually what you see here is the bike which Faris Al Sultan will use in Hawaii. So he will race this year on an Aero 2. I would like to show you some neat details of the bike. First of all, we have the uh, Scapula F fork which is a fork which has the brake integrated into the fork blades, which means the uh, fork weighs, including brakes cut to the steer tube lengths of that frame, 310 grams. And you have sensational power because of the ratio of that brake. It is a very stiff, very aerodynamic design, as you could see. Then I would like to point out on our new handlebar. Uh, we call it the Time Fighter uh, because it looks like a jet a little bit when you see the wings uh, from it. And um, this uh, handlebar is super light because it has the stem uh, integrated in one unit. So we're shooting right now for a weight of 420 to 440 grams. And uh, you could adjust the height of the stem with having special um, formed spacers so you could go up and down to adjust your position as well. Uh, the pads could be adjusted and we will offer uh, two different versions uh, of extensions with that bike. Then the another point I would like to show you is the rear brake. We also worked on a rear brake integration and what you see there is the lightest rear brake around on earth. Uh, the uh, brakes are weighing 50 grams, so which is absurd of a regular brake uh, like a Shimano or Campagnolo. And uh, I have a small few here of that brake arm and uh, what it actually does, it's, it's flexing, so it's like a carbon fiber leaf spring. We did some uh, testing, so it passed uh, about 4 million um, times uh, braking uh, without having any problem. And as you could see, it is a very, very nice detail how it's integrated. It has two bolts, so you could adjust the height and also the angle uh, of the brake. So very aerodynamic, very light, and of course, uh, with the leverage, similar to like a V-brake, we have a two to one ratio. So it also gives a very nice feel uh, when you're braking. In addition to that, I would like to point out the uh, chain stays. Uh, on the chain stays, we use, uh, like on all our bikes, the rear entry dropouts, and there's a special feature to it. Um, there are, it's inside a little bolt, so you could adjust the wind track from your uh, rear wheel. Uh, because if you use different tires and height or different wheels, uh, then it makes sense that you're able to adjust that. The bike uh, is made specifically for the new Shimano DI2. So what it um, is that all the cables are integrated in the frame, uh, again, to make it very aerodynamic. Then there's another point we would like to show you. It looks like it's a, a one piece uh, seat tube, but uh, it's actually a seat post with an clamp mechanism. You could adjust the seat angle from 73 to 80 degrees. And you see that three little knobs at the rear part of the seat post. That is actually the mounts for the um, battery. But there will be also following up a special holder for two bottle cages. And then what we're doing, we're just flipping the battery around and then the battery will be centered between the two bottles. So at the moment, uh, I can tell you the weight, the uh, weight of the complete bike is less than 14 pounds. And what we do have, uh, we call it the new Aero 2 combo, which means handlebar, complete, fork, frame, seat post, and brakes are weighing 2,250 grams. So 
we are very happy to show you the new Aero 2. Thanks a lot. And here you see our Phenomalist DI2, uh, which is uh, a second version of our bestseller Phenomalist. Uh, this frame last year was the best-selling stork model in Germany. It is very light, very stiff and yet very comf comfortable. So we have a frame weight below a thousand uh, gram. And on the DI2 version we have changed the layout work so that it fits and works perfectly with the Shimano DI2 so that all the cable routings and everything are hidden inside. And, um, the frame is exclusively coming in a matte finish and it weighs below a thousand gram. So uh, this is really something you should try and have uh, a test ride on it. I'm using the DI2 now for the last uh, six months and I'm very, very happy with it. It's really a sensational shifting uh, performance and you can build a bike with standard parts, standard equipped, uh, easy below the UCI regulation.